and the moment everybody's been waiting for. What's up YouTube, John, JDS Outdoors, and today I'm gonna do a little review on the ranch hand bumper because I believe I'm like one of the only ones in the country as of right now that has a full ranch hand bumper on a 2021 newer F-150. So I've been asked to do a review, so that's what I'm gonna do. But before I get to the review, I just want to go over something that I think is pretty cool. So I'm getting ready to ceramic coat this whole truck, you know, so water won't stick to it. Right now I'm in the process of washing it and doing an iron decontamination. This truck's got 3,000 miles on it. I want to show you how much iron it's pulling out. I think it's pretty sweet. So you can see a little bit of purple that it's pulling off on the hood, the streaks. It's kind of cool. All that rail dust from when it was transferred down here from Michigan to Florida. I just thought that was kind of cool. I'm not going to do a, a full detail video because I'm not like a detail guy and there's plenty of those on the internet. So um, let's go ahead, get this thing done, and then you can see the full walk around review on the ranch hand and what I think of it so far because I actually kind of like it even though there's some issues. Um, I'll go over those and uh, walk around and show you what she looks like. So let's go ahead and get her done. And just like that, she's all detailed and ceramic coated. Let's get it outside and take a look at it. All right, now that she's all clean, I can finally do this official review video on what I like and what I don't like about the bumper. I do have a video out, you can go check it out, that talks about a sensor for your adaptive cruise control and your uh, collision assist. The bracket that they send with this bumper mounts it in the wrong direction so when you get cars passing by you on either side it'll lock the brakes up because it thinks they're in front of you and they're not. The other things, the other issue I had was minor, right? Uh, your sensors, your collision, or your um, whatever the sensors that go in the front they have little knockouts right here little knockouts and when you knock those out they're not quite the right size so you got to take a die grinder go around the edge clean that up but it's not a big deal other than that the thing is pretty awesome um obviously i have the front cameras on this and you can see that this is not exactly the bumper that is designed for the cameras. So I had to cut that out. They do have a part number for that, but it was like an 18 week wait. So if you want to wait 18 weeks, you can go ahead and order that bumper. Otherwise, if you want it sooner, you can order the this bumper and just cut it out. Pretty dang easy. Another good part about it is it still maintains the factory tow hooks and the factory fog lights. Now I know everybody wants to see what this thing looks like with the LEDs at night and I will do that here as soon as it gets dark out. But uh, it holds up pretty good. First week I had this on I had some somebody back into me at Walmart and all it did was a couple little scuffs. I didn't get to see what they did because it was a hit and run but they didn't, uh, they didn't do no damage to this except for a scuff, except for a little scratch right there and a couple another one right there and another one over there so not a huge deal now another thing that's kind of irritating about this is uh their weld quality and their paint quality so see if this will focus you can see right here that it's starting to bubble just a little bit and then also starting to rust just a little bit on this weld um, that's because when they before they powder coat these or whatever coating process they do they do not take the time to sand and prep the metal they just coat it with all of the mill scale on it and uh, you know don't take pride in workmanship with the welds but I'd rather have this bumper on than the factory one because if somebody hits me I'll win uh, people don't cut me off near as much because they see this in the rear view mirror and they they go ahead farther before they cut you off so yeah that's uh that's about it with 
with the ranch in. Now I'll do a little bit of a, a walk around during the daylight and a walk around during the nighttime so you can see what the LED lights look like. But uh, highly recommend if you have any need for a big old chunk of steel on the front of your truck. I like the look at this. In the moment, everybody's been waiting for. So would I recommend the ranch ham? Absolutely. Just check out the other video so you know how to modify it so it works if you have adaptive cruise or collision assist. So that's all I got to say about it. Looks pretty sweet at night as we just saw. And it cleans up pretty darn nice. So any other questions on it, feel free to ask down below. But as always, thank you for watching JDS Outdoors and I'll see you in the next one.